Hello, my dear students. I am CK. Integrals of some particular functions continuation uh, video is this one. So already we solved uh, three properties. Now this is the fourth one. Okay. So integral one by square root of x square minus a square dx it is equal to so log mod x plus square root of a x square minus a square plus c okay so in this uh, property the proof is all of which rubs okay now we are taking here x uh, value x equal to put x equal to a secant theta a secant theta okay so now secant theta is equal to x by a okay now when you are differentiated with respect to d theta so dx by d theta is equal to a into secant theta means secant theta into tan theta so dx it is equal to a into secant theta into tan theta into d theta okay now i am taking lhs integral 1 by square root of x square minus a square dx okay so here integral 1 by square root of in the place of x i am taking here a square into secant square theta minus a square into dx i am applying the x value here now should observe integral 1 by square root of a square and a square we can take it common here a square of a secant square theta minus 1 in the place of dx i am taking here a into secant theta into tan theta into d theta okay now integral a secant theta tan theta by this a square what we have in the root inside we should take it outside square root it is cancelled we get about a square root of secant square theta minus 1 into d theta it will come clear it is all of you now should observe so 1 minus secant square theta minus 1 means you should observe 1 plus tan square theta it is equal to secant square theta identities. So tan theta it is equal to square root of secant square theta minus 1 we can take it. Okay. Instead of that all of which observe here it is a and a cancel integral secant theta into tan theta by tan theta into d theta we can take it here so tan theta ta, tan theta getting cancelled integral secant theta d theta the formula is log mod secant theta plus tan theta into uh, plus c one i am taking here okay now should observe log mod so secant theta plus tan theta we can write it here secant square theta minus 1 plus c1 so why we are applying this one means we know secant theta equal to x by a but uh, we don't know the tan theta equal to we cannot write it anything so that's why i'm converting to as a secant square theta minus 1 okay so now should observe log mod Secant theta means x by a plus 
square root of x square minus a square minus 1 plus c1. Okay. So now it is a log mod x by a plus a square root of a x square minus this a square when you are taking LCM it will come out a, a square by a square plus a c1. Okay. Now it is a log mod x by a plus a square root of x square minus a square whole divided by square root it is cancelled we get about a plus a c1 okay now it is a log mod when you're taking lcm it is what a so x plus a square root of x square minus a square plus c1 we get it understand now now we all know the formula of log x by y so log x minus log y okay so according to that formula we can write it this one log mod x plus okay square root of x square minus a square minus log a plus c1 okay so now where where c equal to minus log a plus c1 we can take it so here log mod x plus square root of x square minus a square plus c this whole thing we are taking here now c it is equal to rhs okay this is the answer for this property now, fifth one, you should observe. Integral 1 by Integral 1 by Square root of a square minus x square into dx, it is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c okay so my dear students all of you should observe in the rhs side we have sin inverse so here put x equal to a sin theta now when you're converting to as a theta value sin theta is equal to x by a theta equal to sin inverse x by a okay when you are differentiate this one with respect to theta dx by d theta it is equal to a is constant keep it here sin theta means what cos theta so dx equal to a cos theta into d theta clear it is now i am taking lhs integral 1 by square root of a square minus x square dx so integral dx means we know here a cos theta by square root of a square minus x means what a square into sine square theta okay into d theta clear now integral a cos theta should keep it same as it is by a square and a square we have now so we are taking common so root of a square of 1 minus sine square theta into d theta okay now should observe so this a square we are not taking outside the root so integral a cos theta by a square root of 1 minus sine square theta into d theta a a cancel integral cos theta by square root of 1 minus sine square theta means cos theta identity is uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 
So here cos theta equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta. Clear it is. So into d theta, I should write it. Cos theta, cos theta getting cancelled. So integral 1 d theta. So integral 1 means it should be what? Theta plus c. So theta means what? Sin inverse x by a. Okay. Plus c. It is equal to RHS. Is the answer. Now you should observe sixth one. Last one you should observe. Integral 1 by square root of x square plus a square into dx is equal to log mod x plus square root of x square plus a square plus c. Okay. This property is almost the same as fourth one. Okay. So now should observe. Put x equal to a tan theta. For previous one, we are taking here a secant theta. And again, for this one, we are taking here a tan theta. So your tan theta it is equal to x by a, we can take it. Okay. When you are differentiated with respect to d theta, dx by d theta it is equal to a into secant square theta. So dx equal to a into secant square theta into d theta. Clear it is. Now I am taking LHS. Integral 1 by square root of x square plus a square into dx. Now I should apply dx means what we can take it here a into secant square theta by square root of x means we are taking a a square into tan square theta plus a square into d theta. Now it is you should observe integral a secant square theta by a square a square you should take it common and again you should take it outside the root so we get what a so root of remaining tan square theta plus 1 into d theta is the remaining a and this a cancel you should observe integral secant square theta by root of tan square theta plus 1 means what secant theta into d theta secant theta and this square cancel remaining is integral secant theta into d, t, d, t, uh, d theta is the remaining integral secant theta means log mod secant theta plus tan theta plus c1 I am taking. Now should observe log mod secant theta means square root of tan square theta plus 1 plus tan theta plus c1. Okay. Now it is log mod tan means we can take it here x square by a square plus 1 plus x by a plus c1. Okay. Now it is a log mod square root of x square plus a square. Take it LCM here by a square plus x by a plus c1. Okay. Now should observe log mod square root of x square plus a square by Square and root square and root cancel is so remaining a plus x by a plus c1. Got it. Now should observe log mod take it LCM by a. So square root of x square plus a square plus x plus c1. Okay. Now log x by y formula, so we are taking your log mod 
x plus square root of x square plus a square minus 1 by a y formula log x minus log y log x minus log y okay y plus we have a plus c1 so now this one we can take it here where c equal to minus log a plus c1 okay so log mod x plus square root of x square plus a square plus c equal to rhs okay my dear students all of you this this is the sixth property proof with this they will ask similar problem on this properties okay so problem also you should concentrate got it so my dear students all of you please share share this videos for this uh, for uh, your friends also okay thank you so much